Hi, my name is Zachary Davis and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a computer. Start first off by placing the motherboard into the computer. I'm also going to move the camera so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So this steel box here is the computer case. This actually happens to be an actual Dell desktop. Um, for today's purposes I chose this because it's a little bit easier to assemble than your normal one because there's not as many screws involved. So we'll start again by placing the motherboard in the computer which in this case you can see on this motherboard there are the slots here. These are what the this, this particular plate uses to lock into this area here into the motherboard. So you slide it in ensuring that this back area here I'm going to move it a little closer this back area here this is where all your connections are on the back of a computer this you must make sure it locks into place and there you go you heard it lock the motherboard is now installed into the computer the next step this little white square here this is where your processor goes now I don't know if you guys can really see but there's a little lever on the side here that you must lift up actually you can kinda of see it now see this little thing right here that's the lever now, processor normally when you go to put it in you're going to have to put this stuff on it called thermal paste uh, this stuff I guess I shouldn't really say stuff, but this stuff here uh, actually happens to help in cooling the processor and ensuring that it does not overheat, therefore your computer dying. And this, this is the processor. It's just a little, basically looks like a piece of metal with a bunch of pins coming out of it. That's what fits into this white slot. Now to do this, you must be very careful first off. All you have to do is simply just drop this in. Now, there's one thing here, and yes, all right. This little area here that the pins are missing, there's an identical area on the motherboard that you must make sure that area is facing the same one on the motherboard. So you set it in, it should literally just fall into place. You shouldn't have to push it. What you'll do is now lock that lever. Your processor is now installed on the motherboard. There is another piece though that goes with this processor called the heatsink, which is this device here. Has a fan on top, has a big aluminum block that helps with heating. Now, this blotch here actually, that is your thermal paste. When you're doing this for real, I'm doing this with a computer that happens to be dead, but when you're doing this to actually build a computer, this is where you'll apply the thermal paste and you'll want to make sure that it's nice and smooth, nice and thick on there. To install this, there's a couple of, there's a bracket around this, which again, I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't have very much light in here. Um, it locks into place underneath these little clips here. So all you simply do, pop it in here just like so. Now, there's a wire coming off of this which is going to get plugged in right next to the motherboard, or right next to where the processor is, I'm sorry. So you see that? Now, this has power, your processor is in there, and you've already built a good portion of the computer. Next step would be to install your memory chip. This is a memory chip right here. Notice, make sure, um, as I made a reference in my outline, that this notch lines up with the notches on the motherboard. These slots, which again, I know are hard to see, you can see these white pegs here. These are memory slots, there's four of them on this computer, and most computers do have four. There's a notch in the middle of this that you need to line up with the, the memory chip. So what you do, make sure they're both open. Slide it into the slots, gently rock it back and forth until both of those things snap. So now that memory module is in place, you do this for each individual one that you have. This happens to be a 128 megabyte module. If you're doing 4 gigs for example, you would have one in each slot. Do them one at a time, same way. Next device would be your hard drive. 
Now, this actually happens to have a very handy device, which is off of here, is this. What this is, is a quick release. Now, what you would normally do is...